Hey, we're back. Speaking of horses, and uh, right now we have Janice Blake here again. And Janice is going to go through equipment, as we said. However, we want to remind you that Janice does go out and do presentations. She does them uh, for groups. Just uh, give her a call, get a hold of her on her website, her Facebook page, and uh, check in. She's available to do this presentation for, uh, for any of the groups that would love to have her come. Right now, let's listen to Janice. Hello everybody. I'm going to show you my jockey equipment. These are my jockey boots. These boots weigh a pound and a half together. Jockeys are always trying to wear light equipment so they can eat more and they can be stronger in their bodies because they are trying to make weight. These are a pair of jockey pants. They have elastic on the bottoms and these are jockey leggings. The leggings go on the bottom of the jockey pants like this and they go in the boot and they protect the top part of your inside of your calf and your legs. This is a jockey shirt. It's also very light. This says Janice Blake United States on it because I went to ride in a female jockey tournament in Brazil and I was the only one there from the United States. It was very exciting. This is a jockey vest. This weighs a pound and a half. This is a required piece of equipment. You have to wear this in order to ride if you're going to ride. And um, some vests weigh two pounds, some weigh a pound and a half. That's a pound and a half. This is my little saddle. This saddle weighs, again, a pound and a half with all the equipment on it, with these uh, leathers and the stirrups. The stirrups are made of uh, carbide material, like airplane metal. It's just very light and very strong as you can get. This is my big saddle. This weighs four pounds. And the thing about this saddle, is if I have to carry any weight, it has pockets on the inside. And that's where you put the lead if, you have to, if I have to carry weight. Like if, a, let's say, the horse is carrying 126 pounds and I, with all my equipment, I weigh 120, the valet will put in six more pounds of lead inside these pockets on this saddle. These are my two sticks. This is the old one, this is the new one. You have to ride with this stick. You can't ride with these anymore because these are more humane and they have more of a, a cushion here so when it hits the horse, it doesn't hurt as much as this one. It doesn't cut into it. See, this, this one used to have little feathers on it on the end and it really left a mark and really hurt. So the change of this one, this was now regulation. Now I'm gonna show you how jockeys change goggles. So when you're riding a race and you're behind horses, the horses, they throw dirt back because their hooves are concave and as they're running, they're throwing dirt behind them. So when you're behind horses, you have to have goggles on. So I have four goggles right now. So what happens is, say I'm behind a wall of horses and there's dirt just flying back at me. So I'm down riding like this and if I want to change goggles, I just reach up and take one down. Now I'm still riding, I'm still getting a lot of dirt, so I just reach up, take one down. Reach up, take one down. So then you say, well, what happens if it's a long race? What happens if you're in the, in the stretch and you run out of goggles? Well, you don't wanna just not have any goggles. You don't take your last goggle and, and, and put it down like this. You're riding like this, you just reach up and you just do like a windshield wiper and you just wipe them to the side like that. So that's how uh, a jockey gets through a race. You can use as many goggles as you want, um, depending on how, uh, how muddy it is or if you think you're going to be in front. You can have up to six or seven goggles, with whatever you can handle. OK, this is a pair of silks that I'm wearing. These silks are the property of the, ho the person who owns the horse. And what happens is, in order to tell one horse from another in the races they have different color silks. Now the owner of the horse gets to design their silks. So this, this owner is, uh, initials are JL, and it's the same on the back. He has a couple of chevrons on the sleeves. And that's how they tell the difference between one horse and the next. And every owner has a, a different set of silks and you can't, one owner can't have the same silks as another owner. Oh, okay. Um, I don't ride the same number of horse 
every race. The numbers are drawn every race, and I ride a different. I ride with a different number in every single race, and it goes right here, and I pin it on. It could be the five, it could be the one, the 12, 11, any, whatever post position my horse happens to draw, that's what I use.